the Dodgers will win the World Series if we play a full season and there is a, a postseason. Wait, we are winning the World Series in 2022. No, what we're do you win the World Series this year? Put it on record. The Los Angeles Dodgers had every right to be that confident. Dave Roberts had every right to be that confident. The Dodgers won 111 baseball games. That is tied for the fourth most in the history of baseball. They tied with like a 1920s Cubs team. And you know what? They lost. They lost. And by the way, like Padres fans are going to celebrate this like it's a championship. You're damn right, because we're a bunch of losers. And Dodgers fans, y'all lost to the losers. What does that make you? You guys have every right to dance on their graves today. The Dodgers, one of the most cocky, arrogant teams in baseball. And you're right, they, they've deserved it. They, In the sense that win after win after win, record amount of wins this season. The Dodgers have done some historic things. But unless you come down with that commissioner's trophy... No one looks at you the same. No one looks at the 2001 Seattle Mariners and proclaims that the best team of all time because you know what? They couldn't get it done. People are going to look at this Dodgers team and just say they couldn't get it done. And we played Dave Roberts clip here to start off the recording. But Dave, like, what are you doing, man? You make a guarantee like that on March, March of this year, my birthday, March 24th. You give me this clip and I get to use that here on October 16th to celebrate the Dodgers getting eliminated. Listen, I'm a Giants fan, so I don't love, in general, the Padres succeeding. That's not something that I would go for on any other day, except when it is at the expense of the Los Angeles Dodgers. That's like like a middle ground that we could just kind of bring together at the expense of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I I look around this one. Okay, so here's another thing I got to proclaim. I hope, as a Giants fan, as someone who has a rooting interest in the NL West, that the Dodgers never fire Dave Roberts. Just keep him <laughs> managing for as long as possible. Dave, you, you are my best friend in the entirety of Major League Baseball. You are someone that gives me a lot of joy because the disappointment the Dodgers face each and every October by virtue of your managing is nothing short of a delight. So thank you, Dave Roberts, for all that you do for this Giants fan based out here in Austin, Texas. The best part about Dave Roberts being the manager of that Dodgers team is that Dave Roberts lives in San Diego. Dave Roberts was the bench coach for the Padres. When San Diego fired Bud Black after like nine seasons, Dave Roberts was lined up to be manager of the Padres. And then he took the Dodgers job. Like it's just chef's kiss. Perfect. Dave Roberts didn't deserve a World Series this year because he (laughs) robbed baseball of a Clayton Kershaw perfect game. That alone, baseball sin. (laughs) This is your reward. (laughs) This is the payoff because when Dave Roberts pulled Clayton Kershaw from that perfect game, his excuse was, well, we're trying to win the World Series trophy, you know? If I have him pitch an 81st pitch, his arm will blow out and then we won't make it to the October 31st or whatever. There's a lot of people that, you know, are cheering for the Dodgers, not only just for today and Clayton to throw a no-hitter, but for the Dodgers to win the World Series. Well, guess what? You didn't make it there anyway. So now we can play the results. Kershaw was going to give up that home run to Machado either way, man. It was going down the dis. It was going the way it was going because the San Diego Padres didn't just beat the Dodgers. They whooped that ass. They whooped that ass. They got that ass. ass. Yep. Yep. They, they got all up just, in there. Oh, it was so <laughs> great. Like for people who don't know, I'm from San Diego. I, I don't live there anymore, but I'm basically – My earliest childhood memory was 2007 when the Padres lost a game 163 to Colorado where Matt Holliday never touched home. We know that he didn't touch home. There just wasn't replay replay review back then. The Padres never made the playoffs my entire childhood. From age 5 to age 19, never made the playoffs. This this win, San Diego is going to celebrate it like a championship and all of us agree this feels like what winning a championship feels like because this is... 
Sacramento making the playoffs and beating Golden State in the first round. This is the Detroit Lions making the playoffs and beating the one C Green Bay Packers. Like we're going to celebrate this like we just won a goddamn championship because we are the worst team in baseball record. Well, your we best worst. player, well, your best player isn't even playing for you guys because he had a bad case of ringworm. How's that for another <laughs> headline going he's not even allowed to be around the team as far as i'm concerned like because of the suspension he can't even be around the team for this it's just it's remarkable and i mean manny machado might win mvp he might not but he's the emotional spiritual leader the fact that he was on the dodgers and left to come to the padres and four years later beat the dodgers like it's it's yeah. just beautiful. Kyle, Kyle, you know, we, we've had this debate online be- between each other. You know, man, you Manny Machado, is he a Hall of Famer, is he not? Well, this is a Hall of Fame moment, you know, beating the Los Angeles Dodgers, the one seed, knocking them out after you just beat the 100-win Mets. The Padres are having a run. There, There's no debate here. They're having a nice little run. And we'll get into the preview on another video. You got to check that one out on the channel. We'll get into the preview in the NLCS. But the Padres should go into this one as the favorites. That, that's something that the Padres can celebrate and kind of like say, wow, we, we got to this point. We should be the favorites, which is a dangerous thing to have in the baseball playoffs because this October, like every October, has just been wild and fantastic <laughs> and everything that I love about postseason baseball. But the Padres are here. When they made all those trades at the deadline, when they put together this team at the deadline, this is what you wanted. This is the results. This is the fruits of the labor. We, we've we talked about the GM. Is he a dick sometimes? Sure. But you know what? He's a dick that can build a team. It's paying off. Well, hey, it's paying off. You have an <laughs> NLCS appearance. That's something that 20 franchises out of Major League Baseball would be begging for, dying for. <laughs> you talk to a White Sox fan, how they're feeling today, or potentially a Yankees fan, how they may be feeling, or Red yeah. Sox, or all these other blue blood franchises and the Padres are the ones that advance, pull themselves out from the gutters, out from the sewers to make it to the NLCS and potentially grasp for that big trophy at the end. Congratulations. My hat's off to you, my friend. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. And look, the the identity of San Diego and and the baseball team is changing because look, they spend a lot of money now. They're, They're competing in the same ways that big market teams do. But the identity is still there of a team that basically like it's not that the Padres are like cursed in terms of like they they get close and lose. They just never get close. They're just they're a minor league baseball team that happens to exist within this major league construct. And it took five years of concerted effort to I mean, really took 10, but we could call it five to six, like rebuilding the team from scratch to be able to beat the Dodgers, which is unheard of Dodgers. With with all their money, like the Dodgers might be one of the best run organizations in the history of North American sports and have more resources than anyone else. And for that to happen, for that to actually happen is just perfect because like maybe this Padres turn this into like a run where they consistently make the playoffs and they're spending a lot of money and they behave like, say, the Astros or the Braves. But for right now, the identity is loser franchise 22 games worse than the Dodgers in the regular season this year they were 22 games worse than the Dodgers and for them to beat them in that way in San Diego by the way the first two playoff victories in San Diego since before I was born I was not born the last time the Padres won playoff games in San Diego it was the 1998 NLCS And for that to happen against the Dodgers in San Diego with that stadium looking like it's a European soccer stadium was just the coolest thing ever. And again, I said it, this is this is like a championship. This is genuinely like a championship. Emotionally, I'm just playing it like everything after this is great. You know, it it feels like a championship, but let's not lose sight. You guys still have a chance at the actual thing that still is within play. So congratulations. San Diego Padres for advancing and thank you for the memories. Thank you for eliminating the Dodgers. We all owe you guys a huge debt. If you are dancing on the grave of the Los Angeles Dodgers, we want to hear it below in the comment section. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on all our social medias from Kyle Ledbetter and Juju. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. We'll see you on the preview.